Guys, welcome back to Step Above. If you have it already, please like, share, comment, subscribe. In today's video, we are going over our third suit from Hickey Freeman, so stay tuned. This is the third suit from Hickey Freeman, and I decided to do something a little different. I went with a charcoal gray pinstripe suit. I saw this suit online. I thought this would be something nice to add to my collection. So let's get down to the specifics of this suit. This is actually a custom made suit. I saw in the inner breast pocket, it was made for someone named Steve Karan. I believe I might be mispronouncing the name. However, I got this off eBay. It was a great suit for a great price. I won it on the bid. Like I stated in the earlier videos, if you have not used eBay, please jump on that. You will find some amazing deals for some nice suits. That said, charcoal gray suit, pinstripe fabric. This it is a custom garment. However, I'm not sure about the wool construction. I know it's 100% wool, but I don't know if it's a super 120s or super 130s. However, it is a beautiful fabric. I looked up on a lot of forums like Ask Andy online just to get a better understanding of Hickey Freeman suits. You can also check out their website. They have a lot of good information on there. So this is a Madison Avenue model. However, it is a custom garment. You can do the pinch test to figure out if you have a full canvas, half canvas, or a glued construction. This specific garment, since it is custom, this is a full canvas garment. I did the pinch test on this one. It comes all the way down to the bottom of the suit jacket pocket. Again, great construction. This, it needs some alterations, which we will go through that at a later point, talking about what needs to be done. This just so you guys have a better idea of what this will look like at the end of the alterations period. Another beautiful thing about this garment is that it has peak stitching, and it has it on the lapel all the way down to the hem of the jacket. I'll scoot in so you guys can see that a little better. If you can see, hopefully that's right. If you can see the peak stitching going all the way down, and that's another reference one could use to identify custom garments or a higher quality of a garment. My last suit was a Saks Fifth Ave by Hickey Freeman. This one, I'll scoot in so you guys can see. Hopefully it shows up. It's Barney's. New, uh, New York. If you guys know anything about Barney's, they did go out of business and I know they had somewhat of like a liquidation of a lot of the higher end garments they had. This garment, again, I won it on a bid on eBay. It's beautiful fabric, beautiful fabric, beautiful garment to have. As you guys can see, the uh, finer pinstripes of the suit. This is something great to have. This is definitely a standout piece. If you're uncomfortable with wearing a suit or you have adventured in a lot of different areas of suiting, I would suggest this be in your first five suits, maybe past that, when you start getting comfortable with wearing a suit and what comes with that. Another high-end quality of a suit, which does it make every suit on the same level, is functional buttonholes. A lot of big retail brands will have suits that have functional buttonholes. However, there's a lot of different qualities in the big brand suits or big store brands, which are cheaper quality, but they try to add some of the elements of the higher garments into those. This one specifically is not that. However, it does have functional buttonholes, as you can see. They come all the way, all four of them come undone. This is a nice feature, which is another indicator to show that this is a custom garment custom garment. That said, not every suit or sport coat needs to have functional buttonholes. If you look at a lot of vintage models, some of them just have sewn in buttonhole or sewn in buttons and the buttonholes are not functional. That doesn't mean they're lower quality. It's just a lot of the functional buttonholes didn't come onto the scene until later. So you can still find very high-end garments that do not have functional buttonholes but they're still great to have because the quality of the garments are exceptional. What is the reason I got a pinstripe suit? 
I was watching the TV show on Netflix, Better Call Saul, and Howard Hamlin always wore a blue pinstripe suit with a knit tie. I really didn't like how the knit tie looked on a pinstripe suit. I thought it took away of the formality, however, to each his own. And I continued to see more individuals on the show, Better Call Saul, that were wearing pinstripe suits. And I told myself, this will be a nice suit to have. It's something different. You don't see a lot of people wearing them. So I went ahead, looked on eBay. Of course, I looked for Hickey Freeman. It's an exceptional brand with a high quality, high quality fabric and garment construction. And I found a really nice pinstripe suit that I definitely wanted to add to my collection. I think once I get this tailored, get some things nipped, tucked, and took in, this is gonna be a phenomenal piece that is sure to turn heads when I walk outside. I just realized I was doing this entire video without a pocket square, so I went ahead and added one just to add that extra mm on top of the suit. That said, should one purchase a pinstripe suit? Absolutely. I think this suit is exceptional to have in any classic men's wardrobe. For me, buying a pinstripe suit reminds me of doing business or just a, a power move. It's, a, it's, it's such a phenomenal piece to have and it's sure to turn heads when you walk out and it's tailored correctly. Don't just get a suit that's pinstriped or chalk striped and it's baggy because then it's going to look a little awkward. You want to make sure to have the suit tailored to your body just so, just so it's flattering to your physique. That said, you can get a, a navy pinstripe or chalk stripe, uh, light gray or charcoal, any, any variation of those colors will be perfect for any classic men's wardrobe. Again, just make sure to get the alterations done to it. Get it close enough to your size so you don't have to spend too much on alterations or start throwing off the patterns because they have to take in too much of the suit. Like I stated, there has to be some alteration done to this garment. As you can tell, it is a little uh, big we have to get the waist taken in just to get the nice v-shaped silhouette that i'm looking for as far as the, the sleeve amount i don't think this is a bad amount that we even are going to worry about it looks nice overall and i think other than the waist of the suit again as you can see the waist may need to be taken in other than that, we should be okay with the suit jacket. Here are the trousers to the suit. And as you can see, they're a little baggy, especially around the cuff of the shoe. In the waist, we need to take it in maybe an inch and a half to two inches. We are going to get the belt loops removed from these and have suspender buttons put in just because I don't like my suits to have uh, belt loops. I'd rather either have side adjusters, button tabs, or suspender buttons. If you look towards the bottom, the cuff, if we get these taken up, I think I'm going to have the cuff removed just because I want these to have uh, be a little longer so they can just sit on top of my shoe. I am a fan of cuffs. I do have a couple trousers in them, however, I don't want these suit pants to have trousers. As you can also see, I am wearing a pair of cap toe oxfords by Allen Edmonds. These are the black cap toe oxfords with Kirby Allison's, um, what are these, Wellington shoelaces in these. These are polished up, look beautiful. Also wearing gray over the calf socks by the Gentleman's Gazette. They have a nice little clock pattern. Uh, the, uh, I, I would call it medium gray, resonates well with the charcoal gray of a suit. Also the light gray pinstripes go well with the light, uh, light um, squares in the over the calf dress socks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and the upgrades to the studio. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Just to go over what I'm wearing today, again, this is a Hickey Freeman Custom uh, charcoal gray pinstripe suit. Again, I got it from eBay. I'm also wearing my, excuse me so you guys can see that, my vintage Movado Museum watch. Again, with my 
signature signet ring with my first initial and last initial pinky ring and also my graduation ring uh, from graduate school. I bought this for myself as a present. I have a video on men's rings that you can check out in the rest of the video section. I'm also wearing this nice Brooks Brothers tie. This is a light gray with some blue tones in it, all silk tie, just to resonate well with what I'm having on. And I'm also wearing a linen white pocket square just to add to the finishing of the look. Like I stated earlier, I have a pair of Capital Oxfords by Allen Edmonds and some gray clock over the calf dress stocks by Jubman's Gazette. If you want to know any more about the items I have, again, drop a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.